Here's the power supply from the 1971 Allen digital computer organ. Put in a new 10,000 microfarad 25 volt capacitor. Also a 470 and a 33 parallel to replace the 500 microfarad capacitor. Also I re-insulated the, uh, the leads on the power transformer with heat shrink tubing. They were really they were really starting to disintegrate. They were old cloth covered wire and I put new power leads on them. Also got ring terminals and completely redid the power wiring so that there's not like three terminals on one thing, one screw and they're trying to or the terminal lugs trying to come up out of there. They just kind of crammed those in there before. And we've got heat sink grease on the transistor for the regulator on the 5 volt module, so I'm going to put that back in. And uh, then we're ready to give it a, a test. We've now got the Allen power supply hooked up for testing. It's got this three conductor uh, plug, it's a twist lock type plug. It's got two hot circuits to the AC line and one neutral. I think that's because the 27 volt circuit may, one of these circuits I think stays on constantly in order to keep the uh, memory uh, going. Not exactly sure, but I know there's two hot AC circuits, so I had to use alligator clip leads with a test cord to supply power. And I put a new, uh, new this nice new yellow power cord on here, and it goes into a junction box inside the Allen. And there's also another external 12 volt supply. I'm using a new switching supply here to supply that. But I've, I still need to put new capacitors in the Allen 12 volt supply. And that activates a relay which switches 5 volts uh, out of its, uh, its supply, plus 5 volts out onto the terminal here. And I've got plus 5 volts at the plus 5 volt terminal negative 5 volts at the negative terminal. Well, it's a little bit low maybe. Well, it's pretty close. And then negative 27 volts almost at the 27 volt terminal. Originally, each one of these had an adjustment on the front panel. I think these other modules have been replaced by new Allen modules, or new at the time in the early 90s but I uh, adjusted the voltage pot here to get 5 volts. Well, I don't have it. I'll put an alligator clip lead on it to hook it up there and I can show you how the voltage adjust works. Now I've got the alligator clip lead hooked up to the plus 5 volt terminal so I can free up my hands. And I'll adjust it for exactly 5 volts. It can go all the way from 3.9 up to 7.5. I think that this 5 volt supply is what supplies the computer chips on the computer circuit board. It's almost a little scary that there's that much voltage adjustment possible because those devices could be damaged with excessive voltage. I think in the modern day you just use a switching power supply for this. This is a very old school power supply. It's a full wave rectifier with two diodes and then the uh, center tap transformer. But I replaced the diodes too. I always like to replace old diodes as well because they have a habit of going bad too along with capacitors. So I'm going to uh, allow this to operate for a little while here. I might come in some sometime and just let it go for about an hour and keep an eye on the voltages. I have a feeling there might have been thermal conditions also it's sometimes that were leading to problems because sometimes when it would get real cold in the church before the heater was turned on I'd end up with weird tuning on the Allen. Now with this unit done I'm going to start working on this amplifier module here and placing all those old electrolytics. One other thing I did on this power supply was to clean up the soldering put new uh, wire connections here, insulated them with heat shrink tubing, and redid some of the soldering. It seems like about 75% of the cases of things I've seen where people have worked on, it's just real sloppy workmanship. 
and I like stuff to come out looking neat because you know when you got it done neatly you increase the chance of it being successful. You won't have any shorts due to loose strands of wire and stuff like that. And let's take a look here at the heat sink grease. This didn't have any grease on it uh, when, I, when I got it and I think it really should have. Maybe that will help improve the thermal stability of it.